Hey everyone, how are you? Uh, welcome back, one more day, to, we're here. Thank you for joining us for the fifth episode. Uh, welcome back to The Toothbrush uh, with me, Gennaro Kovar and Manny Gomez. Woot woot. Um, well, how's everything, Manny? I know this week has been a little bit busy and like I was telling you that I've been like overworking uh, slightly. How Don't you? overwork How's yourself, everything? I know. Chill, chill tight. Just take a vacation. Go. She got to Aruba. Come to Florida. Everything's chill down here. Actually, dude, I was yeah. thinking of going to Florida, to be honest. Not to leave, but just to go uh, visit. You should just come down to live. I think it's the best. Yeah, I, I like the winter. So I, <laughs> I've been looking forward to get a couple of like cold days. But... No. <laughs> I know. Well, I think listen, we... If you, you like the winters in your house, you can have the AC uh, the blasting AC, yeah. every day, and you know, and we can simulate snow in your house. You know, we can get one of those uh, <laughs> snow, snow snow machines, and <laughs> Dude, and you know, and, like, and that's I heard, it. I heard there's a whole like um, thing that people doing like they're fixing their loans uh, i mean not their loans the loans down in florida yeah, loans. And, that's, yeah. and but they normally hire uh like mexicans right to to, to do that i mean or landscapers whoever it is <laughs> yeah whoever it is yes landscapers uh i will just hire one of them just to like go every single morning and just like dust it up with snow <laughs> well but by by like uh, 10 minutes later it'll be melted off <laughs> it'll be melted but you should then have gonna... fake it'll, it'll just have you should just, uh like fake snow right yeah. no but but it's gonna serve two things i just go right when they're doing it when they're like dusting off the snow and then by the time it melts it's all gonna be like already water to the plants oh. <laughs> so you see That's i'm true. thinking of all this shit except the money because ahead. i know yeah. that has to be fucking expensive Maybe yeah, your water bill might be a little expensive. Yeah, yeah. If yeah, if you use some sort of uh, I don't know how that would work, but yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't think. I, I don't think it sounds very feasible. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. But maybe, maybe. Uh, but yeah. So this week, I, I, I dude, I, I worked like my ass off. By Thursday, I was like, all right. I'm like disconnecting from the world, but it was okay. Uh, and then one of the buildings that I'm working on, it got a notice of like work to stop, like stoppage of work because what we have on our drawings and what was installed on site doesn't match. And they were like, all right, everyone can go home. The inspector, the city inspector came in and he's like, no one else, no one else should be working. Get this fixed. And right away, I got a call from clients, contractors, and I'm like, all right, let me get on that how bad was it i mean it's not even a big deal but it's like uh it, like they're pouring concrete mm -hmm. and the concrete doesn't match my no i'm joking <laughs> no so right next to the concrete there should be uh like insulation right mm -hmm. uh the the blue boards that you see on like construction sites mm -hmm. and this like my drawing say three inches but apparently, like before I started working on this, someone agreed that it was going to be two inches of rigid foam. And they put two inches on their uh, on the construction yeah, instead of three. So and they didn't read? No, they didn't read. They didn't coordinate with me. And I didn't, I didn't know that there was a previous conversation of like making changes. And now that I'm like in the middle of all this, they're like, all right, now we got to fix it. Let's fix it ASAP. And I'm like, holy shit. All right. Oh, okay. But yeah, so it's been interesting. Wow. To say the least. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, so is that, is that, is that, yeah. is that traceable? Yeah, it is. It is. I just got to go and read uh, and see mm -hmm. if all of their information, if I can use it two inches and then, uh, 
just make it work for uh, thermal analysis. And then I get to mm -hmm. run a thermal an analysis and send it back to the city. So then the city says, yes, you guys are good to go. Got it. But it shouldn't take too long. It should take at least maybe one day of work at the maximum. But then I also got to do a bunch of other things for like seven different projects. Mm. So it's, it's, it's nice. It's nice. It's been a very fun. So week. It's a lot of work. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sounds like it. Sounds like you should move to Florida. <laughs> Next episode. <laughs> stay tuned, guys. Next episode yeah, from Orlando. Sure. <laughs> what about you? How's yeah. the week? Uh, yeah, it's been busy too with work. A lot of work. Um, same same stuff. Um, with uh, I've been taking a uh, a class with the sheriff's office that I told you it's a basic uh, citizens academy right uh, that anybody could take um, you know to learn more about uh, the sheriff's office and what they do and it's, it's pretty cool um, and do you pay for it or is that uh, something no it's that... free it's free every, you know everybody yeah uh, they for... do it I think once uh, they do it in the fall and in the, the spring Right. Um, and it's a 12 week class and, uh, yeah. So did you have uh, to pass a, uh, a background yeah, check? Yeah. Background check. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <that's> a... <laughs> All right. Yeah. Because I was like, other, other than that, <laughs> like a bunch of people are going to start applying and they're yeah. like, well, yeah. Mm. yeah, no, you have to pass a background check before you, you they step into the, into the classes you know and then it's like a three-hour class every 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 week and uh, for 12 weeks i've been going to that uh and work so it's pretty interesting yeah so uh, yeah and I, I do remember you mentioned it a while ago then we had a conversation and i was like wait what, what are you doing again and and then he was like all right that's that's very cool and then you did yeah. uh, mm -hmm. through the sheriff you did the Shooting range. Yeah, that's right? how I went to the gun range. Yeah, I didn't mention that last. Yeah, because that, yeah, that's where I went to the gun range. They take you because they, they show you right, and so every class they teach you about all the units and the, the the police stats, you know, and all the uh, like all the different gadgets um, that they have, all the different tools. You come in with a trench coat, like all these gadgets. <laughs> uh, they, like they show you how the radar, the speed radar works. Uh, uh, it's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. Um, stuff that normally, uh, you wouldn't get the chance to, to, to know about unless, uh, you go to these classes or even, even at work, like we don't, we would never know about these things because we are not cops. So, you know, or also uh, like that's, uh, that's more of a field thing, right? That you got to deal on a day to day basis. Right. Yeah, unless you have to be a cop, you have to, to know about it. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. Pretty interesting. Were you guys able to, like, use the... And I'm making no. this sign, but, but I'm talking about the... The, the radar, the, yeah. The, nah. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, actually, sort of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, Yeah. I got to... There was nothing moving, because we were in the... But so you got this, to point it. The, the speed was zero. <laughs> so I don't know if it... <laughs> But uh, yeah, you we pointed it. I pointed at a car that was uh, moving, <laughs> and then the the, the the officer he told us how it worked. You know, basically just like a laser that uh, you know bounces off, or it's really yeah. I think I don't know. If, I forgot. I think I don't know if it's a laser or a microwave that right. that bounces off. I, I don't know. I think it's and a. It goes, I think it might be a wave yeah. or something. And it goes to the car, and then comes back. And, and uh, supposedly it doesn't, it's like 99% accurate. So it, it doesn't, uh, it does, it's not, you know. It's not 100%. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they use two things. And, and he told me, explain, like there is uh, the the little gun, you know, the. Right. <laughs> okay. And then there's another thing that he uses, I forget what it's called, but it inter it's integrated into their either into their car or into their motorcycle because this was actually he was showing me in the, his motorcycle he was in his car Shit. <laughs> I got no problem. Thing fell. uh and the other thing is actually 
because with the laser, you pointed at the car that you wanted, you know. Right. You pointed at that car and you know. It has to be a target. Yeah, you, you pointed at the car that you want to know, the, you know, the speed or whatever. But there's another uh, thing that they use that kind of just, like, he's sitting in his car and the thing just goes off. Like beep, 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 and it tells you like, oh, there's a fucking like car, like it's speeding, and behind you or, in fr- or you know in front of you, and you kind of like have to look <laughs> and right. estimate and look and and like guess which is the car that is going I mean, fast. But, but, but normally you will see the car just. <laughs> it's true. That is it's true. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. But. If you have like let's say three cars that are going, <laughs> and that's you know that's where, you know, I guess, uh, but you would never know. It's like what he says. You would never know which, which one to use, <laughs> right? Uh, right? So in court, because eventually, like, so then he'll, he'll, uh, you know, the cop will go up to you, like he'll drive up to you, and he'll he use the, he'll use the the, you know. Then he'll know, uh, you know, right? And then what it the also speed becomes, then it becomes the legal uh, tool because then if you gotta go to court, then you gotta show what it is. Because if you're like, yeah, I just saw you like go by very quickly, that doesn't really hold on on court. Yeah, yeah, but eventually, I mean, that was just the first. So the first time that he right, but then he eventually catches up to you and he he uses the. The radar. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, but I mean, to catch you the first time, you know, it's interesting. So yeah. It is. It sounds very interesting. So there, there's another thing I just learned uh, that, it, well, but it, it has to do with a little bit of this. So there was a guy from, I think, Georgia. I might be getting the state wrong. That he was driving every single day to work and back uh, home. And he will notice that people were texting uh in the highway and that he was getting very upset because he said well no one should be driving and uh texting and driving and then he bought one uh like a tool like a i don't know like a device that will cancel all uh frequencies the scanner yeah the, yeah uh, and then he will just activate it during his commute to work and and to and his commute back back home and then all signals were gonna get uh, shut off, and we're talking about every telephone signal. Wait, wait, wait! It was a thing that turned off signals around him. Yeah, like telephone signals around cell his car, so right. people around him couldn't use their phones. Right. Really, they sell that? Yeah, they sell that. that. And he bought it, but the one he bought, it was apparently like military grade or something that it gave him like a range of like a mile how much did he spend on that <laughs> they didn't say it or he also didn't give us a link <laughs> you, <laughs> might... <laughs> you guys that sounds like, like a lot of money he's it really does. invested into this it does but then apparently like um metro pcs noticed that every day for like a period of time there was a their signals were going off for for weeks and you know it's very predictable to be like uh once you go to work and back it's very predictable so they were like there's a pattern that every morning between 8 30 there's this whole signal that goes off and between like 6 30 this whole signal goes off as well on the opposite direction so and it would become a little bit more chaotic because cars like uh police cars and firefighter cars would lose their signal as well talking about ambulances and, and all of it like it will like shut off everything so one day uh, <laughs> they like made a whole system where cops were waiting like alongside the two sides of like the highway and they would like just wait for a car to pass by and shut their signal off and once they noticed that the signal shut off they would like just go behind the car like whatever whichever car they it was right and then they said that they got this special machine where they were like, when, when they stopped the car, they thought it was, they made him pull over and they took the, uh, that machine out and it noticed that it was, it noticed that all, everything around it was uh, strong enough to cancel every signal. So they were like, yeah, this is the guy. 
And I think he didn't get, I don't know if he got jail time. I think I, he, I think he got probably like six months probation or something like that and, and a fine. Um, that is, uh, okay. That's interesting. That's interesting, right? Yeah, just I mean, that could be used for, for a lot of nefarious things, not just for, <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, you mentioned, yeah, for, for that people don't use their phones on the highway, but I, I could think about a lot of things that could be used for. Right. I, no I mean, good. I would ask, I think I would ask you right now, but I don't, I don't yeah, know if that's for, legal. For no good. <laughs> yeah. Um, and there was the other one that this guy also hated, but this happened many years ago, and I think it happened here in New York. When uh, there was a guy who hated waiting on traffic signals and traffic lights. So he bought the ones that will switch whenever the car approach. He would like turn his uh, the light into green. I was like, that yeah. is. When I was younger, I was like, that was a, that's a smart move. Then I heard that he got uh, jailed or something. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, maybe not, not, not so smart. Yeah, well, all the... All the the emergency vehicles have that when they have the it's supposed to, it's, I forget what it's called man. but like when uh, they have they're supposed to when they the the lights and sirens are on right it's supposed to turn on uh, the the l traffic lights green no um, way yeah it it's not, there's a delay a lot of times but yeah but it so, will be within. Yeah. The righteous yeah. uh, approach, and they, yeah, but they they did that because of uh, to to prevent accidents because a lot of you know the people are you know so they they won't stop so <laughs> even yeah. for you know the ambulance or whatever will go through a red light and, and they they won't. And there's the other thing that that I've been noticing a little bit more here in New York, and and this I only saw back when I was in Guatemala like Latin American country and whenever like there's a ambulance going down the lane you know like cars should like move apart so there's a lane uh, for the ambulance or like space for the ambulances now I've seen cars go behind the ambulance mm -hmm. I was like what that's crazy <laughs> yeah they get out of the way but then they go back behind them no 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 I mean like there's they, they go they go wait the and then they passes. go behind them. Right, right. But there's a car right. gate tape, uh, that, which is, I thought it was crazy. Right, because now they can go behind and, yeah. So. And cut traffic. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, 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 I couldn't understand that portion. Now they because... can get to wherever they got to go faster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're like, you're like, I get it. Yeah. And... They're green lights. Now they're going to have green lights most of the time and try it next time. You'll see, maybe not in New York City because it's so condensed and, and whatever. And But if you try it out in the suburbs and you'll see it, it happens. You'll get green light after green light after green light after green light. It, it happens. It happens to me. I'm telling you because we, it's, it's called the Opticom. I think that's what it's called. Opticom. Bing, bing, bing. It's like clockwork. And that's why actually, and it works the other way around. If you're, if there's an ambulance or whatever it is, firefighter, police officer, and they're going the other, the opposite way, you're like going to get two? screwed. No, if you're, if oh. you're waiting in, at the light and now there's an emergency vehicle going, like, if you're here, mm. if I'm stopped at the red light and then somebody's going that way. Like uh, an ambulance going that way. Um, now the ambulance changes my my traffic signal and keeps it red for longer. So now I'm stopped at the red light for like ten minutes because <laughs> it, it messes up it messes up the traffic pattern. Right. And so yeah, so it happens. Uh, yeah, it's, I, I it happens a lot. Yeah. It, it, yeah. But then, th th um, does that mean that someone has to come in and like fix the pattern, or the pattern? No, no, it, it fixes like... itself eventually. But it, it, for a couple of like minutes, it kind of it's like it messes itself up. I mean, but it does make sense just keeping it safer for everyone. Right. 
Yeah, yeah but because you... people will blow the red light and, and just and, and crash into each other. Yeah, but if you're like in, in there, like being on a long uh, red light wait, and then something like that comes and passes by, you're like, not again, I'm just going to miss the, <laughs> the light. Yeah. And, and, and just talking a little bit about that, what you were saying about the radar, I remember uh, when I was, I did the whole uh, cross country drive. And in Missouri, I think it was Missouri, and Kansas, dude, like speed limit is 80 miles an hour. And I was driving through that whole state for like four hours. At, and I wasn't going at 80. I was going at, uh, well, for the most part, I was going at 78, 79. But then there were moments that I was going at 90 and I was like, this is crazy. And, but mm -hmm. like, you're like holding the wheel, like, <laughs> like is the last thing. Well, if something happens, it's, it's going to be the last thing you'll be, you'll be holding. <laughs> but I was like, I was like super scared. And hopefully. I, I mean, <laughs> hopefully man. that it kills me. I mean, <laughs> oh yeah, because if don't if, let go. <laughs> I just mean, crazy. yeah. Yeah, no, like, and, and I was like holding that that whole thing, but then I would see cars like on the left lane, just going like hundred, hundred and ten, and they would like just pass me like nothing, and I was like Jesus Christ, and it was scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because I think yeah, if you if the speed limit is eighty, you could probably go ninety, and not get pulled over. Yeah, no, and I I, I remember 90, 95. that. Ninety-five. Also, you wouldn't see policemen like at all. Like I remember seeing like three cops in like days. Wow. And I was like, Jesus Christ! Like, but yeah. But I mean, going at that speed also it makes you rethink everything. You're like, this this is going really fast. And I started like praying the rosary. I was like, uh, every every time that I <laughs> that I got on the wheel, I would like tell everyone like, I just, everyone, uh, can you guys make a sign of the cross and just. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it is fast. Those. It is very fast. It is. Especially it's, for uh, someone who uh, doesn't drive. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred miles. I mean. Yeah. Well, I didn't go at a hundred, but like the fastest I went at some point, I think it was like ninety-two, and I was like, "This is really." Insane. That's yeah. it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I I didn't want it to go any f faster. Like I was mm. scared. Mm. Mm. But yeah, I saw I saw cars. But because like there is like, the planes are just immense, and you could be driving straight for like half an hour without any change or or like cur curb or anything like that. So like, yeah, it's, it's just straight. No, yeah. wow. And then I heard like, that that's dangerous. Because, uh, I, yeah, I heard, uh, yeah, cause you could fall asleep that way. Yeah. And I remember at one point there was a stretch of like, maybe like 20 minutes without ex exits, just like, well, maybe like one or one just for a gas station or something. But one of them was like literally 20 minutes and no, uh, no exits in between because it was a big complex. And then that complex of like. I think it was a farm or something like that. There was no signals, nothing. So I was like, dude, if something happens here, like, I'm screwed. Like, literally, there's no connection. I was probably That's that great. guy. I was like, it's probably that guy cutting off the signal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, I, I, I don't know how you, I don't know. I, I hope you had a spare tire and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I think we, I think we did. But it, gladly nothing happened and we went to the Grand Canyon and back, no harm. No physical no. harm, just psychological harm. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was it was long. It, like it reminded me of like going around the country on a train <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> but it had to be done. It had to be done. I was like, I'm not gonna Because I remember this time talking about the train, my friend You've taken the train, right? Like uh, the Amtrak? No, I should. Uh, you're, you're not missing much. <laughs> 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 uh, 
And I've seen it. <laughs> I mean, it looks like the Long Island Railroad, to be honest with you, from the outside. Yeah, it is. It is exactly like the Long Island Railroad. Yeah, so. The seats are a little bit more comfortable, I think. And they have a whole uh, car with like food, snacks, and like a view, a three panoramic view. No, no, but it, have you been on the Long Island Railroad? Yeah. The the one that goes to Montauk? Not the that Long Island, because they have two trains. They have the, you know, the regular routes, and it's a smaller train, you know, it looks right. like the regular, and then they have the, the Long Island Railroad that goes to Montauk, and that's a big train. It looks just like the, it's, it's the... That's the Double Decker, right? The Double, yeah. And it has, it has a... It has a, a kind of... I think it has a snack bar and everything. I don't think it has an observation there, but it, it's like the the copy. From what I mean, I've seen the videos and stuff. I also I heard. But have you that, been in it? Yeah, I've been in it. Oh, so you've been in those in those yeah, and railroad cars, right? Oh, so they don't look like that. They they very similar. Like I'm telling, like they're okay. very similar, but there is just a little bit different because they're like the other the other ones are like longer uh, mileage. I was gonna say longer rides. Oh. But it, they're very, very similar. The only thing is that, uh, yeah, people are like normally very drunk in every single train. I remember. In the like, at, oh, in the, in the, the Amtrak. In the Amtrak and the Long Island. <laughs> and I think the yeah. Long Island Railroad has more drunk people. <laughs> very much. Yeah. Yeah. It, what's the train that it's called? The drunk train? The long, the drunk Long, long Island Railroad train? Maybe some one. No, no, but there's one that it's the last one. Not every single one because there's a commuter train, but yeah. every every single weekend train on the Long Island. Uh, well, no, you know what? They they actually I'm wrong because I think they I think they 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 ban drinking on the Long Island. Road. No, wait. Yeah, that was the thing. Yeah, when I moved down here, actually, yeah, they because they banned drinking. Yeah. Right, because so that think, was the thing. Every like after the game, there was this. Crazy town. That that's why they banned it. Yeah. Because oh. everybody. Uh, and, and there was about... a whole bunch of incidents that happened on the Long Island Railroad, and then they they banned it because it was true. I and mean, you, you got after like a game, next game or whatever the fuck game, you would uh, get on the Long Island Railroad, and it was like drunk time. Like, like the, yeah. People blacked out of out of their minds. It's like a bar. Yeah, and I I I mean I. I do remember that if people got on the car, I mean, on the train that didn't have like the snack bar and the beer bar, uh, they would just bring their uh, tall boys and just bring them out of a paper bag and no big deal. Then, uh, but yeah, people would like be super trashed when they were on the train and they, they would like just get someone to pick them up or <laughs> literally drive home. I mean that's that's Long Island, but uh, do you hear what happened like two days ago with the Karen on the train? With the what? With the Karen on the train? No, t t two days ago. No, oh, were, were you going to talk about the the stabbing in Brooklyn? Which stabbing in Brooklyn? Which 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 one out of both? <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, no, the guy. Uh, he, he uh the random the, the random stabbing well <laughs> <laughs> well you got to be more specific no, no, is no. it around it was, my neighborhood well, I, I think it was it was pretty it came out in the news it was pretty 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 uh oh wait uh, it was all over oh, the news you, you, pretty prevalent you said uh, that brian right? carson no no it wasn't that i didn't send you anything about this uh it was some guy <laughs> he's uh well he was like a community activist for uh, Nightburg, I, I can't remember. It's in the New York. Fuck, I forgot the what it stands for. But it's like a. Uh, on the train? Was it on the train? No, no, no. He was walking. He was coming back from a wedding from Long Island. I thought that's why why you brought it up, because he he came back from a wedding from Long Island with his girlfriend, and he he sat down at a like a bus bench. With his mm -hmm. girlfriend and, he, and then this guy passed by and then his, him and his girlfriend got up and they started walking and the guy 
that passed by them walked back. He was like really mad. I don't know. And like just told he like told him like what are you looking at? And like stabbed them. Whoa, I, I see, Man. I see. I'm looking at Brian Carson. Disturbing. Yeah. I, there, there's, well, I'm just going to read the, the headline. It says, but I'm not going to read or play anything because uh, disturbing video shows moments beloved uh, activist poet is randomly stabbed in the, in, to the death in front of his girlfriend after being attended, after they attended a wedding. Right. Oh, I Can see. you see? Oh, it doesn't, does it say there what Nightberg? No, it doesn't say what Nightberg. What no, it stands it for. It doesn't really matter, but he was like an environmental thing, an environmental organization, which I interviewed for a long time ago. And at the beginning, I thought I had interviewed with him, but I didn't because he started there after. With, with this specific guy? I thought, but he, he didn't. No, he, it wasn't him. He I started mean, there in 2017. No, no, nah, nah, I interviewed in Long Island. Oh, oh all yeah. right. But I was going to say, that regardless, like, it, it's very small. New York City is super small, like, at the end of the Yeah, day, no, like, that community, no. Yeah, and I'm sure if, if, but he didn't work there at the time. So, so but, um, yeah, holy shit, that's, that's scary. I mean, yeah, yeah, it looks like it was a crazy person. And that happened. So, no, but it was ago. like an 18 year old kid who's never been arrested. Supposedly, he's never had any issues before. He was just having, I don't know. And uh, he lived around the corner from there. And uh, I don't know. It, read into it. The story is, is kid ruined his whole life. And yeah. uh, the kid, and then now you have like all these, you know, the, and I don't want to, I'm not going to get political, but like you have a lot of people on the, like, conservative saying like because the the girlfriend is is like mm -hmm. a black life matters uh activist. like uh, activist like girlfriend that was with him and they were saying like oh because and it's true because they're both they're both left leaning i mean he worked for nightberg you know he's but, very very you know, environmental very, you know and you know like oh like he like, you know because the, the the guy who stabbed him is, is you know he's black and it's like oh look the same person that he's trying to uh that they were advocating the same type of uh the same people the community all this stuff a lot of bs yeah, it's crazy I mean, the, the stuff you read online uh they're, they're using the crazy. rhetoric in order to to say well that was a person of color right hence it, it is under it is kind of like normal for something like that to happen and you should and this is kind of like what they're saying like uh, the right wing that it shouldn't be yeah. uh, taken in consideration because it's a crime that could have been prevented or some shit like that, right? Yeah, yes, a lot of crazy stuff. I don't know. It says it's, Brian uh... Dowling, 18 year old. Oh, it was Lafayette Avenue in that, that neighborhood on Lafayette. It's very, very safe. It is? Yeah. It's I don't know. I don't know. I was reading, I don't know the neighborhood. But in the articles, they kept <laughs> inter like, they kept interviewing like people from the neighborhood, like I don't know, because it is New York Post. And oh, yeah. uh, but it was it was a few articles from the Guardian too, and they were like, oh, I don't know what they were doing out at three forty five in the morning. I wouldn't be walking out at three forty. But also, I mean, I'm not gonna. Talk. But also, like I don't know if you watch the video, the I'm guy the who stabbed right him, the guy, but with the audio and everything. Oh. The guy starts like in front of them, like ahead of them. He starts like kicking some mopeds and some stuff ahead of like he's clearly losing his fucking shit. Right. And the guy's me personally, I would have crossed the street. Same. I would have actually gone like the girl stabs, like I'm that's what I'm looking at right now. Yeah. The girl stabs, the guy continues walking. The right. guy sees both of them and is like walking and screaming right, right. at them. I would have crossed the street. Now but takes... they were drunk. They they just came back from a wedding, um, you know. Yeah, and the kid is already holding like a knife out and chases the. Mm -hmm. Holy shit! It's Eighteen crazy. years old. He works like a the kid works at a school. Apparently, supposedly. Well, work. I don't think he's ever gonna work. Again. No, never again. He's never gonna work. I mean, you know. 
Yeah, no, so I, I guess he must have been like on some crazy drugs. Maybe he tried something else for the first time. And... I don't know. I don't know but, the whole story. But it, it's insane. It is crazy. Uh, yeah. Very sad. It is sad, especially because he's so young. He had the whole life ahead of his. Yeah, he's uh, 30, 30. He's our age. This guy's our age. Yeah. Well, not only I was the looking, guy, I was reading a lot about all oh, the guy. All oh, the guy. Even he's even, yeah. Yeah, he's Actually, he's even sadder because he's, he's got a whole life ahead of him, yeah. Yeah, and then like, the pictures uh, yeah. when they're like extraditing yeah. him to like the, the court or like uh, he the was jail. crying. Yeah. He was crying. So it, he was clearly yeah. not in his right. No, no, some, yeah. And a lot, everybody who was, they interviewed about him, they were saying like they don't know what happened there because he, I think he's had issues before. Like they called the cops on him or whatever for, for some like domestic like he was but he hasn't been in trouble like trouble before uh, serious trouble so i don't know what happened yeah both both but, cases are, are extremely sad and also especially the guy who's our age like they're doing no harm they're just going about their life and just actually coming out of a fun time and for their whole life just to get halted at this at that point or at that uh gravity and, and, and assault is, it's horrible. Sometimes you just have to call an Uber. Yeah. Sometimes that $60 that could have been $60 could have saved a life. Holy shit. But yeah, no. And actually something a little bit less, uh, sad than, than this, just to, uh, close down the, the show. Right. Uh, is there was a Karen on the train on the Long Island railroad the other day, I think. So this woman, uh, let's demonstrate Karen on the train. So she was a Caucasian woman uh, who <laughs> was very extremely, extremely drunk. Like she was inebriated and she saw four people, four, four white guys speaking in German. And these guys were like just laughing and like talking between the four of them in German while she looked at them. Apparently, oh, I heard about this. She got annoyed and then started yelling at them like, get back to your country. You are not welcome here. You filthy immigrants or some crazy shit like mm -hmm. that. And the guy that she, she was with, she's like, let, let them be, don't, don't make, don't escalate this, whatever. She goes like, but they're fucking immigrants. And he's like, you know, I'm an immigrant, right? And she's like, yeah, but I foster you and I like you. <laughs> the, it's different. Uh, her boyfriend or something? Which apparently they're like just friends, but they're mm -hmm. they're more than, 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 than friends because she's married. So. <laughs> she's okay. She's so married. Did she, did she get caught cheating? She got caught cheating. She got, got caught being xenophobic. And uh, the following day, she got fired from her job at, as, as, as a consultant, a uh, financial consultant or something. So she got let Man. go. And the guy was like, at some point in the video, he goes like, stop yelling, start making a scene. If you, if you continue this, I will never talk to you again. I will just stop. Her friend. Yeah, her, her friend, quote unquote. <laughs> That's that was that was crazy, but yeah, so she got let 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 go of her job at Capital R X. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's a it's a train company. That's isn't that? I think so. I think it, I don't even know what Capital R X is. Man, that should be should be uh. What, what happened? You get a train company to sponsor us for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it is a pharmaceutical company. Oh, it is. Oh no. But yeah, you know, medicine never goes wrong. But yeah, she lost it. She got let go of her job, and what people are suggesting is that when she goes, I mean, after losing her job, she should go do uh, AA meetings and also <laughs> go to rehab. <laughs> That's what everyone's suggesting. Just Man. to make sure that she stops drinking in front of people, or at least uh, at home. 
just drink at home. But yeah, that's those fun. are the that's the crazy things. Uh, and yeah, there's a couple of other things to date. Like there there was an earthquake in Afghanistan. So far, killed two hundred people. And uh, Israel is uh, there's a declared war by Israel against Hamas, the Palestinian uh, group. Yeah. They were so, they were attacked this morning. They they were attacked this morning, and yes, so they're declared officially declared war. Crazy, uh, crazy uh, stuff this today going on. Yeah, yeah, and and I think we both have our uh, political views on this, but let's not make it on what view. on Afghanistan. Oh. No, no, not on um, Afghanistan. On Isra Israel. <laughs> Israel and Palestine and everything oh. that's going on. Uh, but of this course. Is the, and I, I think everyone does have opinions. But in this case, yeah. we're going to reserve our opinion. <laughs> 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 just to just to keep it uh, nice and clean. No, for sure. Yeah, sure. I won't say anything, but uh, yeah, a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, I think I think with this we can... I feel good. Do you feel good? Yeah. All right. I, I, think I, I don't feel good about the world right now. What I feel good about. <laughs> <laughs> but we can end it here, sure. Yeah, that's what I feel good about. So, yeah. And I think uh, maybe. A lot of stuff uh, going on. Uh, the next one. We a lot of violence. Jeez. Horrible. And horrible violence. Actually, horrible violence. Not even. Yeah. It's not even. Like, and some of the things is like just petty. Jesus like, should just come now. Yeah. If, if it's. You know, it should just have come in. Yeah, someone someone said like there's a joke. I think uh, I, I don't know if it was Louis C.K. who said this joke, but they're like, imagine if Jesus was uh, uh, is kind of an entity that appears at every world or every planet that has uh, a civilization, and <laughs> and then they're like, and then when aliens come, they're like, oh, you guys, uh, you guys have Jesus there. When was the last time he was like Jesus? Is such a nice guy. He every time he comes, he gives us a teaching, and he give and we give him chocolate in, in exchange, and we let him go, and then till he comes back. Uh, what do you guys gave him when he came here? <laughs> and they're like, Jeez. oh, you, you guys don't want to know what we did to him. Oh my god. So yeah, they're like, if he might not come back again. Mm. Yeah, he's Which definitely. <laughs> Which is he's looking down, thinking, I don't know what I did. He's like, I thought I saved them. <laughs> I literally thought I saved them. <laughs> oh, I did. Yeah. They're right. unsaving themselves, this filthy yeah. planet. Oh, I did. Yeah. Like... Oh, no. Even, dude, even like the Buddha teachings, it's, they're all about love and like respect and patience. Islam is also patience, love, and uh, taking care of each other, of your neighbor. Judaism is the same thing, and yet <laughs> no one takes that portion of like <laughs> the, the religious teaching in account. Well, the every and Christianity, the teachings are all about that, but humans, <laughs> <laughs> humans, that's why I have a job. You know, well, that's why police have jobs because humans, humans. No good. Humans. Yeah, humans are good. Oh, and last one. I think this this one uh, is going to end it on a night, on a good note. So that way we don't... Yeah, let, that's right. I think we that, should end it on a good note. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think there's been three episodes in which we said like, we end on like a sad note or like a gloom. <laughs> we try to end on a good note, but every time it's just... <laughs> All yeah, right, end uh, it on a good note. So this week, uh, there was a building that burned out. <laughs> No joking. No joking. The uh the Nobel Prize uh was announced, and a writer that I never heard of won uh, in in the literature in the literature category. Uh, and I just bought a book, and I'm probably gonna read it this week. I hope oh, I get the time. Yeah, and it's it's called Trilogy, and it's like set oh. in like Norway, like 200 years ago, of like a couple who had a baby outside of wedlock and they're trying to figure it out and then also there was the uh physics uh nobel uh 
price uh, release, uh, selected as well. And those guys did some physics in order to win it. That it's super, it sounds super amazing that I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> so something, they, they learned they something. So they, they, no, so all right. So they learned to measure uh, life waves and, and in a microscopic, nano, nanoscopic uh, system or something like that. That's, that's you don't even know. know what they use. I don't know. Yeah, you don't even know what that is. <laughs> but that's a good yeah. note. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is actually on. A, actually, you know what it? I heard and I didn't. I ju I just read the headline, at a, but I read that MIT found a way, like a cheap way to create, like a really cheap way to create, uh, salt water into drinkable water. Whoa! And I didn't read the article. I'm that's sorry. Great, that's but amazing. uh, but I, uh, I'll yeah. So that's uh, yeah. I think we can. I know they that. do it already, but I thought that was a, a really. Yeah, yeah, but the salination plants are super expensive, and they need right. so much energy. Exactly. Right. But this is like a very inexpensive way to do it. Allegedly, I don't know. That's what I. That's uh, I didn't read good. the whole details, but yeah. MIT. Shout out to them. Shout out to MIT. MIT, if you guys want us to give a lecture one day. Let yeah. us know. Uh, all right, everyone, have a great one. It was great having you guys all back here. And we'll see you on another episode of The Toothbrush. Peace and Remember, love. Peace and love. Bye. Bye. Bye.